Brigade of Football. Conditions are absolutely splendid. And the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town. And uh, the buses have been packed, double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too. And uh, all of it adds up to make it terrific, a crackling atmosphere. The match, I think, will be quite a spectacle. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, I would say the very exciting Ross Barkley. He seems to be able to hit a turbocharged button and release a power that enables him to drive past defenders and a sight I wouldn't mind witnessing again. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. So it's down to business here. Oh, good interception. Played in with accuracy. Rice, he's through. Gets into some space. Ball swung in. And it's played forward. Breaks on here. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Cresswell. Masuaku. Hoists it forward. Tries to locate someone up front. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Balbuena goes looking. And out to safety. Can he deliver? Looking for a decent ball in. Forward it goes. Out to the left it goes. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Plenty waiting in the middle. Turns and goes back. Crunching tackle. No complaints about that challenge. Robust but fair. Up towards the front line. Played out to the right. That is terrific skill. Tries to get it forward quickly. Shade too heavy. People can pick that up. And it's played forward. That's just very well played. He... And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. How do you look back on the first 45 minutes? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. So they head in no further forward. The score here, still 0-0. Nil -nil. So we're already into the second period. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. There's a long ball. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Cleared away. 
Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Defending of the desperate variety. Rice. Barkley. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Yeah, I think it's a scoreline in keeping with what we've seen up to this point. Combined attempts at goal and high end. It's one! Listen, I've experienced that both for and against, and you don't have to guess which one I prefer. A moment that needed composure, and he had plenty of it. I just thought he knew exactly what he was doing by failing to move one way and then readjusting back. Control tricky. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind, when the going gets tough, etc. Has he found his man? There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Alpuena. Ogbonna looks to bypass the midfield. It's being played forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Well positioned to make that interception. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Balbuena drives it towards the front. Looking to hit the front line. Now the counter gets away from his opponent. Rice. And that's that. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. Well, this game looked to have nil nil written all over it. But credit to them. They upped their game in the end. And I thought they got what they deserved. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.